Pika de Pa. Call this meeting to order. Will you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can we please start with a roll call? Council President Prince. Here. Council Member Perez. Here. Council Member Vaughn. Here. Council Member Alberson. Here. Member Rivera. Here. Council Member O'Halloran. Here. And Council Member McIrvin. Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All present. All right. Thank you. And we're going to start off tonight with um, a proclamation National Community Planning Month. All right. Proclamation. Whereas change is constant and affects all cities, towns, suburbs, counties, boroughs, townships, rural areas, and other places, and whereas community planning and plans can help manage this change in a way that provides better choices for how people work and live, and whereas community planning provides an opportunity for all residents to be meaningful, meaningfully involved in making choices that determine the future of their community, and whereas the full benefits of planning requires public officials and, citizen, and citizens who understand, support, and demand excellence in planning and plan implementation, and whereas the month of October is desig designated as National Community Planning Month throughout the United States of America and its territories, and whereas the celebration of National Community Planning Month gives us the opportunity to publicly recognize the participation and dedication of the members of the planning commissions and other citizen planners who have contributed their time and expertise to the improvement of the city of Renton. And whereas we recognize the many valuable contributions made by professional planners of the city of Renton and extend our heartfelt thanks for the continued commitment to public service by these professionals. Now, therefore, I, Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton, do hereby proclaim October 2024 to be National Community Planning Month in the City of Renton, and I encourage all residents to join me in the special observance. In witness thereof, I have here to set my hand and cause the seal of the City of Renton to be affixed this 14th day of October 2024, signed Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council President. I move the uh, proclamation be adopted as read. Second. It's been moved by Council Member Prince, second by Council Member Alverson, that the proclamation be adopted as read. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose nay. All right, motion carries. And tonight to accept the proclamation is um, our own famous Matt Herrera. <laughs> <laughs> so much, Mayor Pavoni, uh, Council Mem or President Prince, and members of the City Council. On behalf of the city's planning staff, I would like to thank you for recognizing October as National Community Planning Month. This month is an opportunity to highlight the value of fostering sustainable, inclusive, and vibrant communities. It's also a time to reflect on the important work of our planners, our planning commission, and community members who collaborate to create spaces that enhance our city. Whether it's the years-long effort to update the comprehensive plan to ensure we are prepared to take on the anticipated growth we will see over the next two decades, or the technical review of new development that ensures our new housing and commercial projects reflect the exemplary architecture and urban design the residents of Renton deserve, planners not only aim to ensure a high quality of life for present-day residents, but also future residents that will someday call Renton home. <clears throat> this work could not be done without the ongoing support of our mayor and our city council. Thank you once again for this wonderful recognition. Renton City Planning staff, many of who are here tonight, uh, look forward to continuing our mission to make Renton a thriving community for generations to come. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. And I know we have some of our planners here. We're gonna take a picture. All right. Yeah, but it's for spreading. Someone come on. Thank you. 
Okay, and next is we're going to open up public hearing for the proposed 2025-2026 biannual budget. Carrie Roller will be presenting. Thank you. Yes, my name is Carrie Roller. I'm the finance administrator. The city is required to hold public hearings prior to the adoption of the biennial budget and setting the property tax levy for the upcoming year. This is the um, the first public hearing was held on July 22nd. This is the second public hearing, and the third will be next week, Monday, October 21st. All of our public hearings have been appropriately noticed and provide an opportunity for the public to provide comment. Just a highlight of our um, biennial budget, the citywide revenues will be $645 million over the biennium, and the citywide expenditures are $648.4 million. For the general fund, it's $279.8 million over the biennium for revenues and $289.6 million for expenditures. Property tax makes up 19% of that and sales tax of 29%. Personnel is 63% of our overall expenditures. Taking a closer look at our property tax um, levy that we're planning to set, this will be um, the new numbers that we just received from King County. It's $26.3 million. For an average household, that will be an increase of $13.73. Any additional information regarding the city's budget can be found on our website, and I will turn it back to you, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you. Um, I know we have one person signed up tonight to speak. Um, I'd like to first call on, um, well, actually, I got to read the remarks. So all remarks must be addressed to the council as a whole. If a response is requested, please provide your um, name and address, including your email address, for follow-up. Each speaker will be allowed three minutes. Um, there's a little timer right at the front desk there. Um, when I recognize your name, please state your name and state of residence for the record. And first and only up is Jada Campbell. Hello, council members. Um, am I permitted to speak? Or yes, all right. Yes. yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Council members, thank you for the opportunity to speak. I'm here today to express my, my concerns to the proposed $3.1 million increase to the Renton Police Department's budget to hire eight additional officers, as I heard um, earlier today in their presentation. While public safety is crucial, there's ample evidence to suggest that simply adding more police officers will not make Renton safer. First, the justification for this budget increase has been, in my opinion, vague and lacks transparency. The department has not provided clear evidence to me showing how more patrol officers will lead to improved safety. In fact, research suggests that increasing police presence alone is not an effective strategy. For example, the famous Kansas City Preventative Patrol Experiment found no significant impact on crime rates or public recessions of safety from increasing patrols. This underscores that adding more officers may not yet the result, reveal the results that we hope for. Furthermore, the money allocated for hiring more officers could be better spent on services that directly address the root causes of crime. Programs that invest in mental health support, housing stability, and community services have a far greater impact on long-term safety. Studies such as those reviewed in the Brennan Center for Justice report show that evidence-based community services are more effective in reducing crime than simply increasing patrol squads. Social investments like those highlighted in Renton's own Health and Human Services Division that I also heard earlier today address the underlying issues of homelessness, addiction, and mental health, which contribute to public safety concerns. Moreover, data also show that increased policing does not necessarily build trust between law enforcement and the community. Research from the Journal of Crime and Delinquency points out that while more officers might have a short-term impact, they might erode public trust, particularly in marginalized communities that I live in. This is a concern that Renton must take seriously as we consider how to best create a safe and inclusive environment for all of its residents. Finally, I am worried that this significant budget increase will be approved without enough scrutiny. The $3.1 million increase for the police department is the largest proposed budget allocation compared to other departments, yet there's little evidence that it will have the desired effect. Instead of approving this budget as a reactionary measure, I urge the council to critically examine how these funds could possibly be better spent. Investment in community services, mental health programs, and infrastructure improvements, as those that I also saw earlier today, would likely have a much more lasting impact on public safety. I'm asking you, council members and Mr. Mayor, to reconsider this budget proposal and ensure that we invest in solutions that create meaningful and long-term safety for Renton. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Do we have any correspondence? Received no correspondence for this public hearing, sir. Okay. Well, this time. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember uh, Halloran. I move we close the public hearing. 
Okay, moved by Councilmember O'Halloran, and second by Councilmember Perez that we close this public hearing. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. We are on to the administrative report. All right, very fast. Good evening, everyone. Information about preventative street maintenance, traffic impact projects, road closures happening this week can be found at rentonwa.gov forward slash traffic. All projects are weather permitting unless otherwise noted. Streets will always remain open. All right, that was quick. Next up is audience comment. And same rules reply. All remarks must be addressed to the council as a whole. If a response is requested, please provide your name and address, including your email address, for follow-up response. Um, each speaker is allowed three minutes. There's a timer at the front of the desk. When uh, you see the button turn yellow, it means your time is almost up. Please wrap up your comments. Um, when I recognize your name, please, please come up to the podium, state your name and city of residence. First up is Carrie Davis. Hi, I'm Carrie Davis. I live here in Renton. And I'm here because today on my street, um, we had trees everywhere. They were gonna plant trees. And I personally um, asked for no tree on my property right there in the grassway between the sidewalk and the street. And I did that for a couple different reasons. One, I have 25 trees in my yard alone, let alone the rest of my neighborhood. We are full of trees. We're backed up to a green belt. So trust me, we've got trees. Um, two, we've had some kind of security issues, I'd say, over the last couple of years. Um, the Renton Police Department has come to us asking for videos of certain things. We've had two burglaries on that street alone. We've had my favorite of the police making a stakeout for a drug situation at one of the houses. And we've had two gunshots on that street. Now, overall, I feel like I live in a really great neighborhood and I love my neighbors and we're really close. You know, we've got a group chat. We raised our kids there. I don't know that we need to be spending money and time on trees. I understand that it's part of a 10 year um, urban development plan, but I really think that we could either put those trees somewhere else, give them to people who want them <laughs> and offer them to the community if they, you know, if they want to put them in their yard. Why don't we try more of an open-ended instead of a more of a forced approach? Um, the letter received said that it was going to be in discussion. And when I spoke with um, Ian Gray, there was no negotiation. That's what I was told. You know, this is not up for negotiation. And I was like, well, that's kind of a terrible approach about it. Um, again, I suggested other locations that this tree could go. Um, to the right side of my driveway, no, it can't go there because I park a car. The car is parked with a curb in front of it. It's not like I'm going to off-road the Subaru through a tree and off the curb to make the point, right? Obviously, I have to back the car up using the angle driveway to get it to where it's going to be parked anyways. So that kind of threw me for a loop. Um, again, with those uh, security issues too, I, you know, we put up cameras, a couple of us on the street for safety. And this tree that I told was going to be three feet, which is more like six, seven plus feet, is going to block some of that view and security and safety we have. Um, additionally, I was told the trees would only drop about 10 leaves by Gabriella when she was at our house. I don't know who can predict how many leaves are going to drop, but I'm going to guess that's not quite right. So I, again, it's more work for us as homeowners. You know, they're going to come water them. So I'm paying with my tax dollars for trees, some to come plant them, some to come water and maintain them when I don't want one. So I'd like to give it to my neighbor. I'd like to give it to any one of you who would like it. There are plenty of other places we can plant trees. And if you want to know where they're at, ask me. I drove around today to figure it out and I took some pictures. All right. All right. Have a good day. Thanks for listening. Thank you. All right, next up is Kim Untai. Hard to follow that. <laughs> <laughs> Not nearly as entertaining. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Kim Untai, and I'm a resident of Renton. I'm pleased to come before you as the interim staff person for the Renton Downtown Partnership. The most recent director left at the end of September, and I was pleased to uh, be invited back 
to the interim position of staff person that will facilitate the upcoming events um, and activities of the RDP while the board spends its um, valuable time uh, in the hiring process for the next director. This is a dedicated group of volunteers that serve on the board and in the committees. Their commitment to downtown is remarkable and worthy of great appreciation. I am honored to have the opportunity to work with each and every one of them. We have a Halloween festival and a scavenger hunt coming up on October 26th and the Santa House the first three Saturdays in December. The Santa House this year will be in a new location at Luther's Table which is on the corner of South 2nd and Morris, across from Renton High School. My purpose of speaking this evening is to reassure you as a council and the general public that the Renton Downtown Partnership wants to serve the uh, downtown area, businesses, and residents in the best way possible. We're a Main Street organization which means rebuilding, sustaining, and creating places and enterprises that create sustainable and vi vibrant communities. It's a nationwide program, and uh, the Renton Downtown Partnership is ecstatic that they've been accepted into that organization. Board members and I will be out uh, and about listening to all the input as the plans for the future come to focus. The organization wants to be counted on. I want to make myself available to hear from you council members and mayor about your vision for the downtown and how the RDP and city can work together. Your support in the past has been crucial to the partnership's success and it is my and the board's hope that this will continue in the future. Thanks for your time, and I hope to see you downtown. I have been known to make a few RDP videos in, my, um, in the recent past, and I always like to end up with saying, it's always a good day to be downtown in Renton. <laughs> thank you. See, you are just as entertaining. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and thank you for stepping up uh, as the interim. Um, that's really good news. The downtown partnership is is it's a critical organization for our city. So thank you very much for doing that as a downtown business owner. We appreciate your effort. So, all right, we are on to consent agenda. There are five items for council consideration. If is there any that council would like? Hold for separate conversation. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council President. Seeing and I move that we adopt the consent agenda as published. Second. It's been moved by Council President Prince, second by Council Member Albertson, that the consent agenda be approved as published. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. We are on to unfinished business. Council President Prince. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor, but I'm guessing that finance has more than enough for all of us. <laughs> Council Mayor Perez. It's not unfinished business, Mr. No, we are almost. <laughs> the um, Planning and Development Committee uh, has one uh, committee report to present. Okay, Planning and Development uh, Committee report. This is regarding Title IV, Docket 19, Group A, the Planning and Development Committee recommends concurrence in the Staff and Planning Commission recommendation to adopt the 2024 Title IV, Docket 19, Group A items. The Planning and Development Committee further recommends that ordinances for the items listed below uh, be prepared and presented for first reading when they are complete. And the first is Docket 233, which is uh, MFTE and waived fees. And then docket 234, which is SB 5290 local project review. Uh, this is signed by the uh, committee chair and members. Uh, Mr. Mayor, yes, I apologize for not be paying attention, but you know, we have been in meetings back to back for five hours now. So with that, I move that the council um, uh, concur with the recommendation of the Planning Development Committee committee report. Second. It's been proved by improved by it's been moved by Council Member Perez, second by Council Member Alberson, that the council approved the or concur with the planning and development committee report. 
All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. <laughs> Hopefully it gets better from here. <laughs> All right, Councilmember Van. Um, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Alberson. Yes, Mr. Mayor, the Community Services Committee has one committee report. Hey, this is regarding an appointment to the Parks Commission. The Community Services Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to confirm Mayor Pavoni's appointment of Ms. Juanita Stallworth to the Parks Commission to assume a position vacated in February. Ms. Stallworth's term will expire October 1st, 2026. This is signed by the committee chair and a member. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Robertson. Move the council concur with the Community Services Committee committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilman Robertson, second by Councilman Perez. The council concur with the Community Services Committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. Councilmember Rivera. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember O'Halloran. Yes, Mr. Mayor, the Finance Committee has 12 committee reports this evening. All right. Uh, the first is regarding uh, approval of claims and payroll vouchers. Uh, the Finance Committee approves the following payments. Accounts payable total payment $14,909,733.85 for a number of vouchers, payroll benefit withholding vouchers, and three wire transfers. And two is payroll total payment of $2,023,942.72 for a number of payroll vouchers, including 743 to direct deposits and 17 checks. This is the September 1st through 15th pay period. This is signed by the committee chair and members. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Halloran, second by Councilmember Perez. Did the council concur with the Finance Committee report? Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Next report is regarding the uh, temporary waiver of city center parking uh, garage fees for 2025. Uh, the Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the ordinance extending the temporary waiver of the city center parking to waive parking fees for up to 10 hours at the city center parking garage until December 31st, 2025, signed by the committee chair and member. Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Halloran. I move that the council concur with the Finance Committee committee report. Second. It's been moved by Councilmember Halloran, second by Councilmember Perez, that the council concur with the Finance Committee report. Any discussion? Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember O'Halloran. Uh, in support of the uh, Renton Downtown Partnership, please come on downtown and park for free in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. All right, next report is regarding Amendment 5 to a contract with Graham Baba Architects. Uh, the Finance Committee recommends concurrence to the staff recommendation to authorize the mayor and city clerk to execute the agreement with Graham Baba Architects in the amount of $129,200 for additional design services for the downtown Renton Market Pavilion and Piazza project. Uh, this too is signed by the committee chair and vice chair. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee report. Second. Okay, it's, it's, it's been moved by Councilmember Halloran, second by Councilmember Albertson. Would the council concur with the Finance Committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. All right, the next report is regarding change order number 22 with a contract with Pavetta Brothers for the Rainier Avenue South Corridor Improvements Phase 4 project. Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to authorize change order number 22 with Pavetta Brothers Construction Incorporated for the Rainier Avenue South Corridor Improvements Phase 4 project. Change order number 22 will provide reimbursement to the city in the amount of $124,413 from franchise utilities, including Puget Sound Energy, Lumen, and Comcast. This is signed by the committee chair and vice chair. Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee committee report. Second. All right, it's been moved by Councilmember Halloran, second by Councilmember Perez, that the council concur with the Finance Committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. The next is regarding what they call Blake funding, interagency reimbursement agreement between the Administrative Office of the Courts and our Municipal Court. 
Uh, the Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the interagency reimbursement agreement with the Washington State Administrative Office of the Courts to receive up to $285,984 for reimbursement of costs associated with complying with vacating Blake-related convictions. Uh, this is uh, signed by the committee chair and vice chair. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee's committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Halloran, second by Councilmember Perez, that the council concur with the Finance Committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. And the next report is regarding an amendment to a contract with WSP USA for the May Creek South Trail design and permitting project. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to authorize the Mayor and City Clerk to execute contract 22336 Amendment 3 with WSP USA Inc. in the amount of $190,900 for professional services related to the May Creek South Trail project. This too is signed by the committee chair and vice chair. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Halloran, second by Councilmember Perez. The council concur with the Finance Committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Okay, next is regarding the proposed use of the 2025 Community Development Block Grant. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve and accept the 2025 Community Development Block Grant Funds and Contingency Plan as proposed uh, at the public hearing last week. The committee further recommends authorization for the mayor and city clerk to execute the grant agreements subject to approval as to legal form. This is uh, signed by the committee chair and uh, vice chair. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee report. Second. It's been moved by Councilmember O'Halloran, second by Councilmember Perez, that the council concur with the Finance Committee report and discussion. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Yes. I have a point to make, and I wanted to ask. Uh, I know it is for a good cause to update our HVAC for the Senior Center, uh, uh, um, Community Center, the Senior Activity Center. Um, but because the federal grant itself is such a rare occasion, just like the American Rescue Plan Act, that we receive $18 million um, from the federal government. Um, however, only really $302,000 uh, went to business grants. And as our businesses are recovering from the pandemic, um, I do ask my colleague to kindly reconsider um, this particular um, committee report because we really need to support our small businesses. And on top of that, I know that in the past, Councilmember Vera has uh, mentioned, and we actually passed through council, a motion to look at creative um, program to support small businesses, and we haven't yet done that. So this is one unique and only opportunity to uh, look into supporting um, small businesses. Any yeah, other discussion? Just a minute. Yes, Councilman Robertson. Hey, we had a discussion about that actually in the meeting because I, I asked the question just overall as far as the um, the conversation potentially that that may have had uh, may have been had ar around that. I mean, and actually as far as the CDBG grants and looking into it, um, there are restrictions where a grant to the business um, is in, in the capacity that uh, my colleague is talking about um, is not is not possible with these particular grants unless it has to do with um, is it job creation or retention or something like that. It's not as cut and dried as it, is, it kind of a, appears to be or as it's presented. Um, but we did have that conversation and um, I'm personally I'm satisfied that in the capacity of, of um, what we're discussing, it doesn't seem to be um, possible, at least at this time, at this point, with these particular um, funds, maybe in the future they can look and and find some sort of manner, but uh, in doing so, but um, it just doesn't seem possible at this time. And I, I invite any of the other people in the meeting to comment, but that was my observation. All right. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Nay. All right, one nay, motion carries. Um, 
The next report is regarding the renewal of stop loss coverage with uh, Symmetra for uh, 2025. Uh, the Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the uh, 2025 stop loss, also called excess loss, insurance contract with Symmetra and authorize the mayor and city clerk to sign the implementing documents when they're ready. The renewal for coverage in 2025 resulted in the current carrier Symmetra offering a 9.01% rate increase. This is a favorable uh, rate and it's the second time in three years that the city has been offered rates below double digit increase. Uh, the industry trend for excess coverage renewal is between 10 to 20 percent. Uh, the coverage carries an individual deductible amount of $250,000, which will remain unchanged from last year. So this too is signed by the committee chair and vice chair. Mr. Mayor. Yes, yes Council Member Halloran. Move the council concur with the finance committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Perez. The council concur with the finance committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. All right, the next uh, report is regarding approval of a contract with uh, Kaiser Permanente. Uh, the Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the renewal of the fully insured health plan by Kaiser Permanente. Kaiser's premium rates are increasing 9.5% for the active employee plan. The rates are decreasing slightly for left one retirees with Medicare coverage. The increase for the active employee plan is up from 7.01% in 2024, but compares favorably overall to premium rate increases within the industry. Upon approval by the city, uh, Kaiser Permanente will issue the updated plan document. This too is signed by the uh, committee chair and vice chair. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Member Halloran. I move the council concur with the finance committee committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Perez. Did the council concur with the finance committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. And the next report is regarding the renewal of our health care management administrator contract for 2025. Uh, the Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to renew the Healthcare Management Administrator's HMA agreement and 2025 rates. The total cost for HMA's administrative services is increasing by 3.20% for 2025 and will be 45.86 per employee per month. The HMA fee increase in 2024 was 4.6%. Enrollment varies during the year and is uh, approximately 650, 586 active members and 64 retirees. Uh, the cost is uh, 650 enrolled times 45.86 uh, a month for 12 months is $357,708. This too is signed by the committee chair and vice chair. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Member Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Perez. The council concur with the Finance Committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. All right, the next report is regarding a utility bill leak adjustment request for uh, the vitamin shop in Renton. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the adjustment to the customer's account in the amount of $16,705.08 for excess consumption caused by a qualified water line leak in accordance with Rent Municipal Code 8446 and 8523. This is signed by the committee chair and uh, vice chair. Mr. Mayor. Council Member Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee committee report. Second. It's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Perez. The Council concur with the Finance <coughs> Committee report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Okay, the final report from Finance Committee is regarding the 2024 year end budget amendment and 2024 salary table amendment ordinance. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to one, approve the budget amendment and adopt the ordinance amending the 2023 2024 biennial budget to increase revenues by $17,968,493 for an amended total revenue of $811,931,400 over the biennium and increase expenditures by $16,598,457 for total amended expenditures of $1,037,000. 
$11,649,606 over the biennium. And two, approve the repeal and replacement of the police non-commissioned employees section of the amended 2024 City of Rent and Salary Table and update two job titles within the non-represented section of the amended 2024 City of Rent and uh, Salary Table. This two is signed by the committee chair and vice chair. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Member Halloran. I move that Council concur with the Finance Committee Committee Report. Heck on. Okay. okay, it's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Perez. The Council concur with the Finance Committee Report. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. We're on to Council Member McGurvin. All right, thank you. We're on to legislation next. We have two ordinances for first reading. The first uh, ordinance is regarding the uh, extension of the fee waiver at the city center parking garage. An ordinance of the city of Renton, Washington, extending the temporary waiver of parking fees for parking for periods of up to 10 hours within the city center, the city's city center parking garage located at 655 South 2nd Street, providing for severability and establishing an effective date. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Member Halloran. I move the ordinance be placed on second and final me reading at the next council meeting. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Perez, that the uh, ordinance be placed on second and final reading at the next council meeting. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The motion carries. The final ordinance is regarding the uh, year and uh, budget amendment. And so an ordinance of the city of Renton, Washington, amending the city of Renton fiscal years 2023-2024 biennial budget as last amended by ordinance number 6137 by increasing budgeted revenues and expenditures by $17,953,493 and $16,598,457 respectively, amending the 2024 city of Renton uh, salary table as last amended by ordinance number 6138, providing for several ability in establishing an effective date. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Member Halloran. I move that the ordinance be placed on second and final reading at the next council meeting. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Prez, that the ordinance be placed on second and final reading at the next council meeting. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. We are on to new business. Council President Prince. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. On Monday, October uh, 21st at 3.45 p.m., uh, the Committee Hall will be meeting here in Council Chambers and by video conference. We have uh, one item, the 2025-2026 biennium budget discussion department presentations. Then at 6 p.m., the uh, council, uh, there will be a Filipino American History Month reception in the conferencing center. No official action will be taken at this reception. Then at 7 p.m., we have our council meeting um, here in council chambers and by video conference. That's all, Mr. Mayor. All right, Council Mayor Perez. Not your business, Mr. Mayor. Council Mayor Van. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the Utilities Committee has a meeting on October 21st, 2024, Monday at 2.30 p.m. It's going to be in our council conference room or, v or via video conference. We have three items on the uh, agenda. One it is extension of singular slash AT&T small cell franchise. Two is 2025 and 2026 utility revenue requirements, capital improvement. Uh, pro capital improvement programs and fees, and three emerging issues in utility, which includes disruptions to regional glass recycling. All right, thank you. Councilmember Alberson. Uh, no new business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Rivera. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Public Safety Committee has been rescheduled for October 28th, and so we will not be having public safety next week. And I also just want to recognize Indigenous Peoples Day and, and the um, Duwamish land that we reside on. So thank you. For clarification, did you cancel the meeting next week? No, we rescheduled for the 28th uh, for a couple of reasons. One was scheduling in terms of budget and everything. But secondly, um, it's going to be the, the command staff is out at a conference. But next week is canceled. Is canceled. And okay. it's going to be on the 28th. I just want that cleared up. Yes, Thank of you. course. Thank you, sir. All right. Councilmember Halloran. I have no new business, Mr. Mayor. 
Member McGurbin. All right. What is the wish of the council? Move we adjourn. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council President Prince, second by Council Member Alberson, that we adjourn. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody want to stay, say nay. We're adjourned. <laughs>